hello viewers welcome back to my youtube channel so i have a question from the comment section on one of my video uh concerning restrictions of users okay so i'm going to read out to the questions now so the question is basically from one of my video day 13 cctv training how to share your dvr feeds to a user and restrict them from some permission using your phone that was so i used that word dvr on that video so the question was from exploit the question was can we allow some cameras for example i have 10 cameras and eight are inside two outside so can i give access to someone for outdoors outdoor view only in the mss okay so i sent him a link and i don't know if he's the one that used this email this next email to uh reply this so so this person said god bless you and thank you for share the link with me sorry i'm trying to read the statement there's no comma there's no full stop but we'll get there so god bless you and thank you for share the link with me on the other video i have seen the before i am asking to log log in the user in dmss as the manager or secretary okay so i just made this video to clarify this so this is how to go about it now remember we have four cameras here one two three four sorry the cameras are not showing because i didn't plug camera to the dvr okay this is just late night and i saw this question i said let me do it before morning all right but then once i plug camera to those uh bnc ports the camera is going to show automatically okay so remember this video is focused on restriction using the mss for that one okay i've already done this using the dvr i'll drop the link in the description below okay so first of all click on our uh, menu main menu go to account now if you watch from the group we we'll have uh, two users or we'll have two accounts rather admin and user then if you go to users we we'll have just one account which is the admin okay so we're going to add another account here maybe like secretary or manager remember this admin can be the ceo okay but now you want to give a uh, secretary access to your footage restricting some of the cameras maybe the ones outside or maybe the ones inside from the secretary to be seen okay now first of all i'm going to add this admin and let's see that the admin has permission on all the camera then we are going to restrict some of them and give it to secretary using the dmss all right so from my phone i'm going to click on dmss okay i'm going to click on this plus button up here i'm going to scan the serial code from the dvr Okay, so next, click on DVR and XVR. Now give it a device name, let's call it CEO. Now CEO means that you are the owner of the DVR. Now password, admin, one, two, three, four, five save okay sorry admin admin one two three four five now you can check the time zone uh that's not part of this video so we have a purpose for this specific video so, so i'm going to avoid those uh, settings okay so uh done at least the amount of our camera is up so let me see if the dvr is online okay okay let's see 
So our cameras are up. Remember, I didn't plug any uh, physical camera on those BNC ports. But if I do, cameras will be up here. Okay. Now, if you watch, you have channel 1, 2, 3, and 4. They are all up. Now, if I go back. Okay, so this is my camera, CEO. If I click on this dot, device details. So up here, I can see that CEO is online. Device model, device area number. Then I have a uh, mass connectable channels and connected channels, which is four. Okay, so this is just to confirm that I have already four cameras showing on this DVR using the CEO uh, account. Now, for you to create a secretary or maybe manager or any other person account, restricting the person from some cameras. It's advisable you use the person's phone okay because if you try to add this dvr again on this device it's going to tell you that this particular dvr has already been existing on this device so it's better you use the person's phone maybe your secretary phone to add the camera back now for you to be able to do this on your secretary or manager's phone or whoever phone you want to restrict some footage from you need to get the person's phone or maybe use any spare phone to do that okay because if you want to add this particular device again on this your phone it's going to prompt an error to you that this particular device has already existed on this phone so if you have a spare phone you can use it to create the secretary account and do that then later share the device to the secretary so i hope you know how to do your sharing come back to ceo click on device sharing i have a video on that i'm going to drop the link on the description below okay so once you get your secretary phone or maybe your spare phone go back to your dvr and do this process i'm going to show you now so come back to your dvr click on main menu go back to account now from here add another user okay now you can give it secretary, let's say sec, S-E-C, -E okay? So let's call it the secretary. Now password, you can say A-S-D-F, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, so that's the password. Let's confirm the password here. A S D F one two three four five. So once you are done, you can give it a remark if you want. Remark is just what you can use to identify that. Let's call it test. Then they are now seeing you under which group you want to add it. Let's add it under the admin group. Okay. Remember it's under the CEO, which is the admin. Now Permissions are here. And these are the permissions we have. This is system permission. Now you can even restrict the secretary from doing some settings like maybe formatting the hard disk, doing some account settings, security settings, system, and whatever. Okay? But for now, this is not our concern. So let's allow the secretary to do this. So this will be for a different video. Then come for search. Search means which of these cameras do you want your secretary to view the past record which of these cameras do you want your secretary to view the past record so you can just select camera one and camera two so let's remove camera three and four now in the live, live feed sorry in the live feed which of them do you want your secretary to be seen so let's assume camera one is the one outside and camera two okay let's assume that camera one and camera two are the ones outside and three and four are the ones inside so you want your security to be seen just what is happening outside so let's remove three and four so once you are done click on okay so we now have uh an account which is called the secretary okay so going back to your phone so coming back to the phone I'm going to remove this uh, CEO here. I'm going to remove this CEO. So I'm just using one phone to do this uh, 
uh, tutorial. So remember, like I said, you are going to take your secretary phone to do this, or maybe your manager, whatever phone you want to use, to add these cameras. So I'm going to uh, use. Uh, I'm going to delete this CEO here. So once I delete it, I'm assuming that this phone is my secretary phone. Okay. So I'm going to go to add scan. I'm going to scan the serial number again. So let's scan. Okay, so once you scan, go to next. DVR and XVR. Now give it a name. You can say sec. Remember our password ASDF one two three four five. Done. Save. Incorrect password. ASDF one two three four. Okay, sorry, sorry, sorry. Now watch this place that is being written username. Okay, we are supposed to change it to sec. So the place written username, change it to sec, done. Then save. So we are good. Once you finish, click on done. And let's see our main camera will come up. Now if you watch, it's just two camera. Camera one and two, that is what comes up okay so you have restricted the secretary from viewing camera three and camera four so this is just exactly how to uh, restrict uh, some of your workers from different footage so maybe your manager you want your manager to be seen one three and four you can still do this same procedure remember first of all the changes has to happen from your dvr then on the manager's phone Thank you guys. If you need any other uh, clarification or if you have any other question pertaining to this, please don't forget. Drop it on the comment section below. I'm going to do something about it right away. See you in my next video.